Hello and welcome to another Stranger Objects tutorial. My name is David Drayton and I welcome you to the show. Today I will explain in a very short manner how I created this animation. And with the right add-on, this is super simple. So without further ado, let's jump right in there. Alright, welcome back. Before we start, you need to install an add-on that's called Molecula Plus, and you can find it with the link in the description. You simply need to download the version for your computer and you're good to go. So with everything in place, you can press the N key and we'll have the Molecula Plus add-on in the side panel over here. Right there, there's no object selected, so we have to add one. We're gonna bring in the plane, scale it up by five. I also want to add a cube move it up slightly so it's above the ground level select the plane again and make this a collider um, we want to give the cube a 3d grid and to get rid of the cube we come over to the particle settings viewport display and show emitter off you will also want to turn it off for rendering as well so here we go to get a better speed uh, and performance we're going to increase the size to 0.1 we're gonna redraw the grid and this is what we got. So now that we have our collider and our object set up, we can start the simulation. This will simulate fairly fast. And as you can see, now they're falling and shattering. If you like that, that's pretty cool, but you can also have the grains stick together. I will show you how that works. Let me just free all the bakes, select our object, go over to the uh, physics tab, click the calculate particles weight per density and we will also want to link them at birth if you start the simulation again what you'll see what or at least what you get is more of a jello effect because now between each of these grains um, links are being drawn and now we have some kind of soft body simulation this is pretty cool if you like that style of stuff we can also break it so i stop it and free all the bakes Breaking is this right there. You need to lower that value to break it, but it also depends on how fast your object will penetrate or fall. So I think having something like 0.01, for example, will break them as soon as they collide with the floor. Let's see what we get. All right. As you can see, it's broken, maybe too much. We don't want to break everything, but I think we're getting, we're getting some places. So I increase that value to 03 and start the simulation again. And now we should have some of those particles still stick together on contact. Here we go, much better. Yeah, they're not, they're not breaking. Now you have pieces in there as well. This is pretty cool. The last thing to do, can cancel this. We need an object, of course, You want to if you want to render this. So I take an icosphere, I lower the subdivisions to one, move it down here so we don't need it. We don't need to see it. And go back to our particle settings. And in within the render settings or render, render tab, we select object and we'll choose the icosphere. And this is basically it. Now we can press play. Oh, I'm sorry. First of all, we need to, of course, start the simulation. Now it's simulating with the render of the object attached. And now you can do all kinds of shenanigans. So this is basically it. If you like what you've seen, uh, please consider a subscription. Also leave a like and a comment. I would like to hear what you would like to see next. Thanks and have a good day.